And welcome. Uh, I am trying out the uh, tutorial of this game. I didn't even know there was one. So let's try it out and see what it's like. And uh, go from there. It says uh, Mission Information, welcome to 3452C Maya. Planet Paw has been a success. Your objective now is sustaining a colony that will work on much more permanent projects. It is impossible to directly control colonists that technologies have <clears throat> yet been invented. We must satisfy ourselves with technology that have, we have developed on much better. Please press Y to confirm that you've read this text and are capable of obeying some instruction. You have 15 seconds. I've tried playing with the um, audio a little bit, and uh, let's see on here. I'm just gonna show you. See in here, all you have is visuals, which is very much controls and showing you here. And audio, music on or off. That's it. Okay. To issue construction orders, click on the build buttons below the square box. Uh, the square blue box. Square box blueprint icon my choose rooms. Use zero to nine keys merely cycle. Rooms available to you. Click and drag uh, to place room tiles. Double click can also be automatically fill in an area. Right click lets you delete rooms. Large rooms are always preferable. Colonists are no longer trapped on a ship in each space. Once you have placed the blueprints, your colonists will fill the rooms and soup them. Press Y to demonstrate. You can't use the number pad on here. You can only uh, use the numbers uh, above your key, uh, WS ASD keys. Mining allows your colonists to collect minerals to smelt from building materials, create space to build new rooms. You can issue mining orders to your imp robot by placing the top rock. That's why. Icon lets you place items. Use Q and E or number key to cycle through them. Your context system will change according to the room or area that your mouse is currently hovering over. More construction options will become available to you as you research. To have something disassembled or an order canceled, press the interaction hand, interaction mode hand icon, and right click on the option. Face manifest provides a quick overview of, of the state and supplies of the colony. Mouse with the icon in the top left of the screen. 
if you remember, it lacks context. No substitutes menu beyond ongoing activities. Let's over the manifest button. Build further equipment such as atmosphere generators to fix air the base will require more building materials. Microwave smelter will break down the minerals mined by your imp robots into useful raw materials. First, however, power is required or the base will black out. Solar, wind, geothermal are immediately available to the new colony. You can prioritize the items for build building by double clicking them in interaction mode. Okay. That. I'll play some wind. Let's see what's going inside. Oops, nope, don't want that. Let's go outside. And wind. Okay. It's a smelter. R or T to. It's not telling me this yet, but push T or R. As long as a food is a long term priority, but it is best to get started early. Vegetables and fruits can be grown in high hydroponics room. Crops grow at different rates and have varying nu nutritional value. Potatoes grow quickly, provide a lot of energy. So we'll start with you. <clears throat> Mark out an area for digging large enough for a new room by clicking the top of the rocks in interaction mode. Once it's dug, place out a large hydroponics area. Don't forget to place a door. Okie dokie. So, let me see. They already got the door there. Typically, you want to put your uh, porch up here. That's okie dokie. It says click to begin smelting process. It hasn't said that's in the game yet. Click here and it'll start it automatically. They'll usually do it sometimes, but 
if you want to get the job done quicker, click on that and it'll give, begin smelting. Hmm. Running out of ration packs very quickly. I don't think I really need to do a room that big. It's okay, I guess. Low temperature warning in storage area. Always whining, Nova. Always. What? You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait. You just went out. You just went out. So you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> Always want to go outside. It seems like every hour they want to go outside. So let's go and rooms. Let's get a hydroponics. Okay. I know if we needed that. That's good enough. Do that. And then. The rock walls at the base will sap heat. A colony needs to be kept warm to reduce the risk of hypothermia. Look out for visible breath and shaking boot. Storage area. Uh, uh, where was I? Um, I can turn down the volume just a little bit. I think that may help. If not, I'll turn it down a little bit more. Many thing okay. Uh look out for visible breath and shaking from the colonists or warning signs. Many things will warm the rooms, including waste heat from electrical items, chemical reactions, and even the basis residues themselves. However, to directly heat your best, you must employ space heaters and atmosphere generators. Oh okay, so see actually I'm glad I did take this as real because I didn't know atmosphere generators created heat. Place a space heater on the wall of the hydroponics by mousing over the wall, placing it, cycling to the heater. So the more walls you have, the more heat will be sapped from the rocks. Okay, that's a good thing to keep in mind. I actually did play this. Cool. So, where do I want it? No. You may wish to consider continued by satisfying your power storage needs and building a living area food preparation facilities to turn your raw vegetables into useful meals. Please remember that the average human can survive three weeks without food, three days without water, one minute without air. However, in your results, we vary. Colonists have many needs from safety to so social contact. Read their emails and watch them closely to find out their state of mind. Also, please do keep your base 
environment pressurized. The outside air is not breathable. By clicking the Y, you acknowledge that you are now wholly responsible for the safety and well-being for each and every one of my engineers. Best thing as you do, the ethical, intellectual, and organizational has to be necessary for your core command. So I guess it's basically a small uh, tutorial, okay. and what they mean by prioritizing, how did they build that? Oh, that's what I was say. I didn't hear about that. Is when you, when you want to prioritize an item, we'll click, we'll see how it links. Now it's prioritized. That will get built first. They want to build a proper bed. But anyway. So that's a little bit of the tutorial. Let me see. We'll go to mission. Let's go to launch. Let's go to missions. An orbital uh, habitation module has taken a direct hit from a cloud of the. Uh, Micro meteoroids build a sustainable sustainable colony for the house house influx of uh oops. Twilight zone. Surviving the uh, our Arctic winters, polar twilight in this remote research station. Battle with the cold and darkness to keep your colonists sane and alive. Seems like these are going to take a little bit, so I think I'll leave um, <clears throat> this episode here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, it's kind of a short episode. I figured the tutorial would be maybe a little bit longer, but it's not. So, and y'all pretty much already have seen everything that can go on on kind of a... On a because what I do is I go to exploration. You can either start or you can go to custom. Custom, you know, you pick all this stuff. But on these the missions, I'm not sure exactly how long they're going to be. And I'd rather start fresh where I have more time. So I'll leave it here. And uh, thank you for watching. I may end up doing another video. Probably one that's getting late for me. I've been up since two o'clock this morning, so <laughs> I'm getting I'm ready for bed. Also, happy new year. This uh, video will be released uh, New Year's Day, so happy new year. Hope uh, hope you're ready for the new year. And honestly, my piece of advice don't set a new year's resolution. Just be you. Just be who you are. Accept who you are. You know, I mean, if you want to be better fit and all this and that, that's great. Be who you are. Love yourself. Love yourself first. And everything will come into play if you do that. New, New Year's resolutions fall apart. Most of the time. So just love yourself. Enjoy what life brings you, and if you can accomplish something, great. If you can't, because of whatever reasons, it's life, you know? Like, 
like uh, the channel says, inspired by life. Just enjoy your life. And um, be positive if you can. We all have our down days, I understand. But anyway, I hope you enjoy your New Year's. And uh, thank you for watching. If this audio is still a little loud on this game, uh, let me know. And uh, continue on in another episode of the uh, other missions and see what, what they have to uh, offer. So, and as always, this is Jimmy, who inspires you. Thanks.